Good morning, my name is Amanda Alice Uluhan and I'm the Director of Religious Education here at East Shore Unitarian Church. Meditation is the art of awareness. Now, often when we think about meditation, we think about becoming more aware of the thoughts in our heads, but becoming more aware of our whole mind, body, spirit, the feelings in our body and the truth in our hearts helps to add a depth to our awareness that just our thoughts alone can't take us to. Integrating these holistic understandings of the mind, body, spirit can help to end more suffering and can help us to experience even greater joy, whether as an individual or in beloved community. The Passover story is a story rooted in violence and oppression, and there's no way to avoid that. It's about the Jewish community and peoples experiencing this violence at the hands of their oppressors, the Egyptians, and then about overcoming that through the power of community and resilience and struggling towards liberation. Each year, this story of Passover is passed on through readings and recitations of the sacred texts, the Torah and the Haggadah that are shared and then learned from one generation to another. This morning, I'm going to lead you all in a movement guided meditation to help us learn the story of the Passover through our bodies. Movement can help our mind, body, spirit see and experience things in a different way. It opens up new neural pathways and memories. Instead of words telling us the story about Passover, I'd really love if you can try and experience the arc of the Passover story in your body. So as we get settled in, find a little space around you. You'll need, if you wanna join in this movement meditation, you'll need just about in a uh, wingspan. You can stand if you'd like or sit as you would like as well. I'm gonna demonstrate the movements once and then I'll talk you through it a second time and then we'll repeat it twice more. So there's five steps. First step, see if you can tense all of your body, each of your muscles and bones. You can curl your body inward even. This aching, this tension represents the ways in which people have been made to endure pain and violence. It's the heart of the story of Passover, that Jewish people endured bitter years of slavery at the hands of their oppressors. So step one, you're tensing your body with pain. Step two, reach an arm up and out toward possibility. The possibility of freedom from suffering and social control. That possibility is held deep within our spirits. It's held close by the Jewish community throughout all those years of violence. It is the spring of our spirits, that possibility. Now push your arms out and away. Push away these things that have kept you small and limited. Push away through the violence and oppression of slavery, and any other form of social control, as though you are Moses parting the sea and making way for possibility. Now reach both of your arms up to the sky and move them in a circle. This is the circle of beloved community, of liberation, and of a vision that can include us all. Now move your arms and your hands in front of or onto your heart to seal in that commitment 
that circle and that vision that the realization of that spring of possibility once just a vision is now held in your body okay so that's the big idea of the movement meditation now i'll just re remind you of each of those movements there are one two three four and five i'll i'll start it now so tense your body holding the pain Reach your arms out to possibility, knowing that it exists. Push your arms out and use your hands to make way for that possibility. Reach your arms up into a circle, taking it all in. And place your hands toward your heart, knowing that that possibility is here now right now let's do that two more times steps one through five twice more tense your body reach your arms up push away part the sea reach out make that circle and move your hands to your heart and relax. One more time with a deep breath in, tense your body, reach your arms up, push away, part the seas to possibility, reach out and circle your arms in that vision of beloved community and make it real right in your body, in your heart. And relax. Breathing in and breathing out. We can post this on the website so you can return to it. Simple practices like this can really help open our minds and our bodies and our spirits to that possibility that we know can be real. Whether you're at one moment on the side of the oppressed or on the side of the oppressor, these new realities exist for ourselves and our communities and our institutions. Whether it's the pain or grief in your individual personal life or the pain and grief that we share as a social community, we can learn new ways to be together. Thank you and blessings be.